Hello friends and happy Thursday. We are going to be using today your Love That Dog book, your Love That Dog workbook, and a pencil. So if you need to go grab those items, you can pause this while you go and get them and then return once you have your items. Once you have your items, you are going to flip back in your booklet almost to the last page. In fact, it's three pages from the end and it looks like this. It says end of unit one assessment, love that dog. It looks exactly the same as my screen right now. So you're gonna flip back to that and I wanna look at these directions with you so that you understand what you're doing today. It says directions, plan and write a paragraph that responds to the following prompt. So this is the question that we're gonna be answering in this assessment. And we're gonna take two days to do this assessment, today and tomorrow. The question is, how has Jack's attitude toward poetry changed in the novel, Love That Dog? Use the text and evidence of Jack's feelings to support your thinking. That means that you could use your chart if you'd like to as evidence. So it says part one, gather evidence that responds to the prompt and create a plan for your paragraph. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Tomorrow then you're gonna be using that plan to actually write your paragraph. So today we're gathering evidence and we're planning for our paragraph. And it tells you the resources you'll need. You'll need your book, you might want your summary notes, you'll need a single paragraph outline that is the next page in this. It looks like that. And then you'll need sticky notes, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down to the single paragraph outline. And I'm gonna notice that it says, how has Jack's attitude changed toward poetry at the top? And then it says TS. TS stands for topic sentence. Then it gives you three places to put your three details, and then it gives you a conclusion sentence spot. It's just like our hamburger. It just doesn't have the picture of the hamburger, but you can imagine that this is your bun, these are your fillings, and this is your bottom bun, okay? So that's what we're gonna be filling out today. We're not gonna be filling it out in complete sentences. We're just gonna put notes here so that tomorrow we can go and write a really good paragraph because this is our end of unit one assessment and I want you to do your best. But let's talk quickly and why we're doing this. I'm going to go um, pull up a paper for us to have notes and I will send these notes to you or I'll put them in the assignment. Let's talk about how Jack's attitude has changed. So I'm gonna write that sentence here on the top. I'm gonna to get a font that I like. How, oops, I'm in capitals. How has Jack's attitude towards poetry changed? So what do you think? I noticed that that beginning He thinks only girls write poetry. I've noticed that at the beginning, he doesn't think he can write poetry. And then I noticed that kind of in the middle of this section, he begins to write poetry, but he doesn't, sorry, doesn't want his name on it. And I noticed that he doesn't think he's actually writing poetry sometimes. So his teacher, for example, will put up his work and he's like, but is that actually poetry? Right? I also noticed that he uses um, other poems 
for inspiration, right? So for example, his blue car poems are inspired by the Snowy Woods poem and then the Tiger Tiger poem. Um, I noticed that in the section that we just read, um, at the end of this section, sorry, I'll move that up so you can see it. At the end of this section, he lets the teacher put his name on his work. And that's a big moment, right? And he seems more confident in his writing. Hopefully you agree. And so this kind of shows me how there's been a change over the course of time, okay? So he started out very um, nervous, not very confident, not even thinking that he should be writing poetry since he's a boy. And then he started to write some poems or do some writing that his teacher thought was poems. And now he's confident and he's able to even put his name on it. He doesn't care about remaining anonymous, okay? So those things are going to help me today fill out what I need to fill out. So I'm going to think about what topic sentence could I put here. I want to use the words from the question. So how has Jack's attitude toward poetry changed? I want to say something like, Jack's attitude towards poetry changed over the course of time. I'm just going to make a blanket statement. Okay. First, he felt like only girls wrote poetry and that he didn't really know what he was doing. Then he began to write some poems, but he didn't want his name put on them yet. And finally, he allowed the teacher to put his name on his poem and let the other kids know that it was his. And then I might write a conclusion like, as you can see, Jack became more confident in writing poetry and his attitude became more positive over time. So I want to get back to that question, that attitude and how it changed. Okay, so today your job is to, and I will share these notes with you, is to fill out the outline. You do not need to write the whole paragraph today. You're just going to fill out the outline, okay? Um, if you want to, you know, what I'll do is I'll make a copy really quick and I'll show you what this looks like because I don't want you to be confused. Give my computer a second. I want to show you what it'll look like because this will be in, this outline will be in Seesaw and you can either type there or you can type here. So this took off my, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to, I'll put my typing in red so you can see it. So I would say something like, um, I want to re, oops, that's not red. Oh, well, I want to rephrase the question here. And I would say something like, Jack's attitude changed a lot in regards to poetry over time, okay? And then I want to put my details. So I'm going to put a detail about beginning that he thought girls only wrote poetry and he couldn't do it. Notice that I'm not worried about putting um, this in sentences yet. Okay. I'm just putting my ideas. And then in the middle, he began to write poems, but he wanted to be anonymous. Then towards the end of this section, he let the teacher put his name on the poem and he showed 
more confidence. It's kind of showing me how he progressed. And then I'd want to put some conclusion sentence, something like, as you can see, Jack's attitude towards poetry became more positive over time. All right. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'll take away these extra lines because I don't need them. There's my topic sentence, my three details, and my conclusion. That's what you're going to do today as well. All right. So good luck. I'll look over your outlines, hopefully, tonight so that I can give you feedback before you write your paragraph tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.